competition. Please, stand at ease. Easy. If you are sitting down, grab some beer or grab some water Easy. or grab some candies. Uh, you know what I mean? Grab something, man. I want to you, man. Yeah, man. Because already, the general is ready. Mr. Omari Lawrence is ready. Easy. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, brother, we're live on four radio stations across the country right now. We're live in Accra, the capital. We're live on 99.5. Easy. In Kumasi, Ashanti region, we're live on 98.5. Easy. In Cape Coast Central region, we're live on 100.3. Easy. In the Northern region, Tamale, we're live on 99.7. Easy. You don't see it. So the whole Ghana listen to we right now, Bada General. Bada. Yeah. When it come, when it come to Bada General, I know, I know Bada General so well because long time me I deal with Bada, but I know that others in the other regions don't know about Bada. So let's take yeah. it, let's take it from the scratch. And this particular song, my journey, um, Bada, from when the man starts sing, I can say legacy was there. You understand me? Yes. And, and, and Lagasse was monitoring. And um, one thing I recall, and that day I was listening to Sound Chat Radio when Ninja Crown said, oh, who that? Bada General, him now go make it. Froggy now make it. You understand me? So sometimes <laughs> I, 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 I listened to that um, 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 show and I heard what he said. And today when I look at how far you have come as an artist. Easy. I give glory to the Most High Father. You see me? Easy. And all, yes, sir. All, all this message is in this particular song, The Journey. Brother General, you're welcome to Asasi Radio. Easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a good. Wow, boss. Yeah, man, everything good, man. What about yourself? Yeah, man, I'm there, man. I go and do the right thing. You see me? Definitely, 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 brother. Yeah. All right, so, um, brother. Let's take it yes. from this angle. Before we, 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 we even talk about how you grew up, where you grew up, where you were born and all that. COVID hitting. And when COVID hitting, every artist was, was like, every, a, a lot were suffering. You understand me? Some people were like, oh, let's yeah. go into farming and all that kind of thing. How was it like for you as an artist? Well, as an artist, I really can't complain because that was... 2020 was the year that introduced me upon a level, mm -hmm. musically, mm -hmm. as an artist, you know what I mean? So, when everybody else was going through a rough time, I was really doing really great because there was um, a lot of online clashes going on and I, I, I rose to prominence that year with so if, um, custom dub plays for the, for the online things and, you know what I mean? So, it was it was a very good year musically for me. Now, um, personally, you know, I, I lost people, you know what I mean, close to my brother and thing, you know what I mean, through COVID. So, I mean, it was kind of bittersweet. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. All right. But, but all in all, I'm not really complain. You know, life is good. All right. We give thanks. We give thanks. Life is yeah. really good. All right. So, let's talk about Bada General now, where you were born. You understand me? You know, where you were yeah. born, how you grew up. How was it growing up like? Well, um, I, I was born in uh, Montego Bay, Jamaica. They call my city the second city. You know what I mean? It's, it's very on and popping, especially now musically, you know what I mean? But at the time, everybody had to go to Kingston to bus. But we, and I am... Can say as a little youth born and raised in Montego Bay, I, I I born come see my father with sound system. So from a born music in a, in a my blood, you know what I mean. As a mm -hmm. I started, so it was so natural to me that even my father was like, it's, it's amazing stuff that I start doing at three years old, you know, even maybe even before, like just selecting and you know, entertaining grown people and playing the music the way how my father looked at me like, how you even do that? Like, 
blend music together. At this time, we are talking about <laughs> early out. Mm -hmm. Where two turntables wasn't even a thing, but I, I, I actually grew up just, you know what I mean, just listening and taking to things. Music was the first love, so that was a natural thing. And the transition was amazing because... In no time after that, I, 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 I but I, well, froggy at the time, just mm -hmm. boss. Mm -hmm. All right, so, youth. All right, yeah. so, so let's talk about um, froggy in those days as a young youth, as a as as a young youth selecting, and at the same time going to school. What age were yes. we talking about? At what age was that? Well, that is here to tell you the truth. From the day I know myself, like I can remember as far back as I can remember, I've been a selector. And I mean, at, it's, so it has always been music and school. But at the age of 14, I got hired by the number one sound system in our region at the time. And one of the top four, top five sounds in Jamaica. Wow. So, as a little youth at the age of 13 going 14, I was, and to, to, to make that transition from to the top sound, you know, you have to go through the ranks. So I was playing yeah. a lot of sound before that. But that sound, with my style, and at the time, at, as a 14 year old, I already they have a big man voice like this already. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, they, 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 I used to, you know, as we enter and as we move and so and we will dance all Jamaican 90s style and lock the place lagazi like man lock the place left right and center at the age of 14 at the age of 14 i am one of the biggest selectors in jamaica you know? hey jeez not just in my city you know? in jamaica I'm, I'm i'm sparring musically with the stone loves the metro media the inner city the gemini the kilimanjaro the every single sound in jamaica me and them I war them you know, as a little youth, you know, I beat them up, you know, I fight them up. Because them time them cross like Bunty Killer. <laughs> Sing. Assassin Radio, the voice of our land. Yes. Yeah, so, them time the Lagazi, if you if you just say something offensive, you don't even have to be super offensive. Yeah. Because the song that I was playing at the time was called Pieces Music. Okay, Pieces Music. Pieces was one of those songs that full of dub plates and have every song's on dub. Every song that you hear on the radio, we have it on dub. So, even if me and you play, and it's like a regular party, and it's supposed to be like juggling. Yeah. And, and you play your last song, and you said, um, next sound. Next sound? How we are called next sound? Straight war. Straight <laughs> 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 war, like I see, me, me kill off everything them times. So, through that, mm -hmm. I know composed I was at the time making speeches and saying things and I used to even at one point play the song by myself because I got so good you know what I mean mm -hmm. so that was amazing to a lot of people to see a little youth a little pit, pitney a little kid mm -hmm. <laughs> playing a big song by himself clashing with the Rory's and the, 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 the Sky Juice and every, all these big names and giving them hell. Wow. Yeah, so it it, it, it was a good time and after waking in the morning and go to school and go back to, to, to dance all in the night. I, I to tell, give you a joke. Mm -hmm. When my high school where, that I was going found out that Omari Lawrence mm -hmm. is the guy by name Froggy, mm -hmm. they could not believe him. Wow. Because I didn't I did not bring that image to school because I was always a well-attended student, well-attired student. Mm -hmm. I was always in you know, the top class. I was good at academics. Mm -hmm. I'm good at schoolwork. I was great at schoolwork. I was in the top class. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I did not mix my school mm -hmm. and the whole dance hall vibe. Mm -hmm. So what 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 blew the lid off? <laughs> what blew the lid off everything and Make everybody know that Froggy, mm -hmm. that guy that is popular as a selector. Mm -hmm. I remember these kids can't go to dances, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though, so them I hear the name and hear the hear this voice on the cassettes, mm -hmm. but don't know who it is. Yeah, so I'm just a famous guy amongst my 
without them knowing it was me. You know? mm-hmm. So I, I, I had this clash mm-hmm. with Stone Love coming up. Mm-hmm. 1992. And at the time, Billy Slaughter had just start catch fire. He like, go up on Stone Love and start to catch a fire. Mm-hmm. And they put us up in the papers like like a boxing match. Yes. So it was this big old picture with me in the paper and him. Like, Stone Love knew Shooter and yeah. Pieces Shooter we, we both got it. Wow. So that's how everything broke out. So when I went to school that, that morning, I noticed everybody had a paper and everybody's looking at me funny <laughs> and like, yes, it's him, it's him. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So yeah. when I reach where my friends are, and then I said, Yo, Froggy, you know, tell me, say, yo, Amari, I can't believe it. Everybody was excited and be like, ah, then the principal called me to the office and was like, hear that I am the guy and yeah. saw me in the papers and, yeah. and, 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 and I thought he was going to be mad, but he was trying to solicit pieces to come play at an event at my high school. He was like, yeah, but you have the link. Mm-hmm. Hook me up, man. I need pieces to come play at the school. At the time, I'm like, oh my God. If pieces <laughs> play at this school, it's going to be over. By that, I are the most popular youth in the school because I am like a star, you know what I mean? Yeah, in the papers and all that. Time, yeah, this time 15 or so. You know, my am man around the place, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, 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 in 1992, now with you and Billy Slater, now how did how did that end? Yeah, all the class go. Pieces down, chip out, break down. I don't know how, what happened like them at that time. I think people used to go around and pin your wire. <laughs> I don't know if it's a thing in Ghana or in Africa, but back in the 90s with the wires and thing, what they do is bring little um pins. Mm-hmm. Um, put it through the speaker wires so that it shot out the amplifiers and everything would have burned up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think that happened to pieces that night. We couldn't play. We had to turn off our sound. But then Billy Slater, I don't know I don't know if he was aware of who pieces sound was and who Froggy was at the time and mm-hmm. Corey and our reputation. Mm-hmm. But he was like, people... He play a song named Mr. Fix It. If your sound is lonely, call someone to fix and Stone Love will fix it and yeah. place boss and it's like it was a gimmick. But he who did the unthinkable, he was like, people, I'm going to invite pieces to come play on Stone Love song. Yo! I don't know. And, and I'm like, you're not serious. You can never be serious. <laughs> and he was like, Pieces, you know, we know bad mind and machine and man made and uh, come bring your songs over and bring your dub box over and come play Pastor Love. We play it. Oh my God. Laga? Yeah, man. <laughs> One single time the man they make a play. Originally, the argument was we play like half, half hour on the song. One half hour. The, me shell out the whole place that time. Yeah. This is the time now. Um, I couldn't find the Think the um, snow. Yeah. The, the, the white version from Informer. Ma? Yeah. You know, yeah. That was like the biggest, 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 biggest dub plate. Yeah. Biggest song. Yeah. Nobody had it on dub plate, but Pieces had that dub plate. Slice hey. So, and that dub plate was snow and panned in combination. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I'm saying that I don't, I don't know if they put thought into it and know what they did mm-hmm. but pieces come in and when we drop the snow you know in form you know the pieces in at the same place <laughs> they never make a play back and since that too, the relationship was not so good because I'm going with myself you know see <laughs> hey, that, so- one has a and that was one of the first like highlights mm-hmm. big highlight it was pieces versus two. and it was not even supposed to be a clash but because music you know we don't even have to throw words but yeah. just drop songs yeah yeah it was a great look wow that time. wow wow Amazing. ladies and gentlemen this is a sassy radio and one-on-one with but that general you yes, know sir. in the early days known as fraggy Amazing. yes sir 
Yeah, the man kill every sound. <laughs> yeah, man, I give thanks, man. I every sound feel my hands, man. Yeah, I believe, man. man. And I'm, not, I'm not here saying that I I I, I never lose. You know? Definitely. Remember, said them me up to squinchy beat me up, chupa beat me up, panta beat me up, mataran beat me up. But I beat them up too. So it's it's not like I'm here saying that I won every single clash. Definitely. But you know, I would say I win more than I I, I lost. You know. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, so how was the, um, the, the 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 transition like moving from Jamaica to America? You know, how when did that happen? Um, I started traveling in 1997. Mm-hmm. And the first time I I I, I traveled, it was I came here. I came, the first time I come to America is 1997. And when I came, I was like, hmm. Kind of like the vibe. Mm-hmm. Feels different. It feels good. And then the opportunities, when you came, it seemed like it was endless, you know? Mm-hmm. So from them time, then I start scoop out the place. I did a couple more years before I made the official transition. Mm-hmm. Remember, you know, I left Pieces and started my own sound in 2001. Mm-hmm. Mad Squad. Master. Mad Squad now became this powerhouse. Mm-hmm. So it took me a little while. So maybe about 2004, I permanently moved mm-hmm. because of um, health reasons, of course, with 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 um, my wife at the time. She 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 um, was pregnant with my son. Mm-hmm. My wife, my still my wife, cause she's still my wife here. Yeah. All right. We, we, um, when she was pregnant with my son, and, and <laughs> she was having. She was being like sick, man, in sickness, really bad. So I had to just, you know, what I mean, permanently just make the move, mm-hmm. which I, I I do not regret. It was one of the best moves ever. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, because it allowed me to venture out into different things. Because by then, you know, what I mean, I, I I have home and you know house and space and start make studio and buy equipment. So it. it Really, is a great move. Was a great move. Mm-hmm. And I look on it, mm-hmm. and the grand scheme, you know. <laughs> Definitely. So, so uh, I'm getting um one and two questions over here on our Facebook. I would like to say big respect to um FA Watcher all the way from the UK. He said, um, but a general is still killing sounds with customs. All right. Yes. Edward Ohinijan of Nexus Sound System says. Like as he asked him, how did he get on World Clash? Um, World Clash, it was sorely my talent, you know, because Irish and Chin was tracking my career since Pieces. Mm-hmm. But we did, because remember, Pieces was one of the active sound clashing sounds in the 90s. Active. Mm-hmm. We are, we are clash with every single, and as I said, it don't even have to be a clash for me to clash. Yeah, beat up just, everything. Yeah, just say something shaky. Your, your head gone straight. My shoot off your head clean, clean. My serious. So, when, I, when we started Mad Squad, Mad Squad started so, it's like this, it's like a bomb drop and just explode. And because Mad Squad son got really popular in one night. It's like I played at this event tonight. Mm-hmm. For the first time, the first time I've ever played as Mad Squad was at a party in Mobile for the Wild Bunch, which was um, a prominent crew, which is a prominent crew still. We're, we're, but these guys are party guys. Mm-hmm. And we play at the, the event. And, and like I see the amount of gunshot busting at that event when Mad Squad are played. That, it, it's like, it's unheard of. For wow. like a, a new sound just String come up. and make that back so it's like i played it was a sunday night and by monday morning my phone was overheating wow everybody want, everybody want bookings everybody bringing deposits everybody tried to lock me so it's like i started sunday night for the first time and by wednesday i am fully booked out for the rest of the year wow wow yeah so you are coming like nobody never know of me sunday and by the following Sunday, my flyers and posters are all over the city. 
so, so it's like we bust so fast. And, and because at the time we are young kids, what happened was all the college students and the college fets and banquets and events mm -hmm. is is us. Mm -hmm. So we as we are playing hip because I figure that okay, we're gonna call on the business. We're not just coming to clash alone. We are going to do a lot of jugglings and play hip hop and all different kinds. I know I am trying to market my sound not only as a class sound, but kind of like what a bass this is today. Mm -hmm. Anything, you book me for juggling, anything. So we are getting so much dates till we start, within no time, we have to start double the bookings. Striker go one place, me go the other place. Sometimes we place in you know, the daytime, yes, at night time over there. So two dances for the night. We, we, you know what I mean? We're just busy. So they saw that and saw the support that we had. And, and we start, because I know how to clash. Mm -hmm. So automatically, to tell you that Mad Squad Sound was built to clash Sound Trooper. Naturally, we, me and Strike, I sit down and come up with this and say, yo, we want to kill Trooper because at the time, Mataran and Lynx was rivals. And we just decided, so we are going to build a rival Sound to Sound Trooper. <laughs> Why? So we, because... Listen, man, I know how for bust in a legacy. Yeah. I know why, how to get the attention of people. So, I just start, by the first time when I play, I tell you, so the first Sunday night. Yeah. I sent out a threat to Sound Trooper in my party. Trooper probably don't even know that I had sound, I had a sound. Wow. <laughs> because it was the first time. And I said, people, all who know, anybody was a Trooper, tell him, say, Froggy, I look for him to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm bucking him dead. Zing. So I saw like, radio, the voice of all every, land. Everybody starts saying, yo, Chopa, Froggy, they look for you. Everybody want to kill you. <laughs> so by the time me and him buck, it was already like a rivalry without we even have a conversation. Wow. Because he he heard what I said and he stayed where he was an answer. What oh, did I do? I did have a son. Put in work. Nobody don't know him yet. So in the space of two, three weeks, we already had to all about the place. Yeah. Getting booking. So it was inevitable. We we the half a war. Yeah. Our, our war and it was we war enough time to man. With Mad Squad. So in space and no time, chin them. Judging said the clash was being held in Montego Bay, mm -hmm. the first one that they booked us for. They were there before the sound of the Jamaica World Clash. Mm -hmm. At that time, Mad Squad sound had the hottest sound. Mm -hmm. And if you know the business, you would have known that you want the hottest sound that pull the most crowd. And these guys know how to clash. Whether you can win or not, that's not their concern. Their concern is they're trying to book the hot sound to pull the crowd so that the event can be a, 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 a sold out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we charge them the money. His responsibility is not to tell us that we need to go get ready and voice dub plates. Mm -hmm. That is, that was our responsibility. Mm -hmm. So we charge him the money, agree. And the money that I said to him, I, I said it to him for him to say no. Because at that time, I was so cockatty. You know, I was like, yo, <laughs> this amount of hundreds of thousands more, you know, which was to me, it was the his money I've ever come out of my mouth. <laughs> like we said, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine me saying that much money. And then when I said it, he was like, okay, yeah. In the grand scheme of things, it's, it's like no money, you know. Because no. If, 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 if it was the same clash in, in, a, in America at the time, I would have to get way more money. Same. But because this time, I did not start fly out yet for God, please. Yeah. This just cut. So when I said to him that I wanted, I think at the time it was like 300,000 Jamaican Arabs three or something to that yeah. some weird number I expected him to say no <laughs> and he was like okay so where do I meet with you to give you a deposit wow I mean I'm a bridge and I look at each other like <laughs> what we do because we said this money for him said no yeah. and he said yeah, yeah. <laughs> this history of a world clash first time go around in which year was that 2003 I think I remember my son started 2001. Mm -hmm. So by 2003, remember it's April 2003. So by 2002, I am booked for World Clash 
few months down the line. Mm -hmm. So it took me like a year. Mm -hmm. We was not rich or nothing. So it's not like we was loaded with, but we was loaded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but we did not voice foundation at the time. We was just, at the time, I tell you, like I, see, I wasn't thinking dub for dub. Because all my thing is, you are not going to make it to dub for dub. You know? So I don't need all this old music. Yeah. Me, I got to before dub for dub. Definitely. But, you know, it, 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 it's good to build a foundation because sometimes your planet ain't not work out and you end up a dub for dub. And what do you do? You have to have some, <laughs> you have to have some dub. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, man. But we reached the world class because of just the, the, the impact that we, we, we came out with and it was like, over now looking back at it it was like your, your boss so big for a country sound it's like a base of this boss mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah Katara, when Katara came out that and adonai one of the big boss mm -hmm. ended up and fully loaded we were playing at every single major event mm -hmm. in jamaica wow. wow and think about it we were classed as country youth so it's like you're coming from the country going to the city which our city is a city, you know, but all people from Kingston think everywhere else is country. So, <laughs> yeah, man. I done every time, like almost so often every week. All right. Playing every major event at every club at Tivoli Gardens with Dodos. Like everything. We are playing everything that is cut, like every big thing. All right. So, um, 26 minutes going into the R2 here on Asasi Radio. Exactly 3 p.m. will be out yeah. of here. We're having one on one with um, Badat General. And he's telling us how he started in terms of he was a sound man from the beginning. And uh, we are now going to step into how he transitioned into being a singer. Crazy. Yes. He, he has killed a lot of sound systems in terms of clash and all that. And still, his dog plates are doing magic. Crazy. Yes. My yes. God. Yo, um, I don't know, but you you don't want to hear some of the customs he's done for other sound systems. You don't want to hear that on the radio, please. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> These are not radio friendly. These are <laughs> yes, yeah, straight gunshot business in a dub plate style for kill sound systems. You know, definitely, I'm in shot. definitely. Yeah. All right, all right, brother. So before we 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 step into how you transitioned into being a musician and all that. Let me ask this final question on, on sound system. Before, like, how you were playing pieces and you left pieces to go form your own sound in 2001, that is Mass Squad. Now, yes. before you, you move from your, like, pieces to Mass Squad, were you, were you now planning in terms of, were you um, cutting dubs in secret for Mass Squad or how, 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 how were you doing it? Because... You started a sound Sunday and the following Monday morning, you boss. So yeah, uh, yes. we, we, we leave pieces um, February mm -hmm. 2000. Mm -hmm. February 2001. I remember this, the last dance I played was Pieces versus Black Cat in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Baltimore, Maryland. And that's the last dance. We won that dance. And then I locked pieces dub box and I never opened it back again. Um, that was February. I gave him his dub plates back in, um, I think it was March, April. Because I was in the US for a little while. And the first dub we cut was that week before the last dance. Mm -hmm. We went to New York and we voiced Ed Robinson. Knock, knock, knocking and that, that yeah. dub. Yeah. That's our first dub. Wow. So we voiced that dub in Ed Robinson. We voiced three Ed Robinson dubs. That was the first dub. And we voiced a Pad Anthony dub. Mm -hmm. So our first dubs, dub plate, mm -hmm. was Pad Anthony, Ed Robinson. And that was February. All right, so we left and went to Jamaica. So we can say a week before I, my last dance, mm -hmm. we voiced 
the first Mad Squad dubs. Wow. So it was not a thing that we was voicing. But to tell you the truth, the first time we played as Mad Squad was July 2001. So from February, we have March, April, May, June to get all of this together. So we spent all those months cutting getting those. everything. Uh, buying records, putting the record boxes together, cutting dub plates, just making sure that we're juggling, spend a lot of money on records, because this time it was physical vinyl. So we we bought a whole heap of records and voice a whole heap of dubs. When I said whole heap of dubs, the first time we played, we had more than 200 dubs. Wow. Wow. But you know, like Bounty Killer, Assassin, Elephant Man, Bede, we have everything. Capleton, like with us, voice, voice, three, three, four, four, every, every artist. So we, we have four or five strong rhythms already mm-hmm. built. All our rhythms have Bounty Killer, Bede, Capleton, Sizzler, Elephant, Assassin, Vibes Cartel, Wayne Marshall, Ray Ray, like everything that was at the time. So we come out shooting. So as me tell you, Pieces was the sound that would have done that. Before Pieces, nobody did that. Mm-hmm. After Pieces now, we did that. All right. So, so you know what I mean? So it, 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 it's not like we was stacking up before. We just leave the sound and start building with sound. All right. All right. Yeah. Sing. I saw Siri the voice of our land. 31 minutes got into the uh, two on Assassin Radio. My name is King Lagazi. I'm having one on one with Bada General. General, now oh, yeah. let's talk about the transition now. When, yeah. when did that vision step in for you to leave Sound System and leave Mass Squad? You understand me? Or Real Squad? You understand me? To now yeah. be the artist now that now you are touring the place you've uh, I've I've seen you tour um England and and some places and all that and all that, you know how yeah. did the transition how did the vision you know, you know, s- step to you that yo I have to do this. Um. Well, we started producing me and um Tarantula big up Mad Spider Productions, my general Tarantula. We, we started our label in twenty ten. Mm-hmm. The label, we started to produce, and I started to at the time me and Deli Ranks as par. Deli Ranks and me they everywhere together, so it's like if you know Deli Ranks, you know that once you're around him, you're gonna have to make a song anyway. Mm-hmm. So he was the one that basically introduced me to the side of music where recording is concerned. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, I couldn't imagine hearing myself on a record. But then when he basically tutored me how to do it and where to sing from, and he's a man who I'm passionate about in craft, so he's a man who all slap you all in your chest. No, oh, man, you sing from your throat. And if you sing from your belly, and yeah. say it out and, you know what I mean, clear, you know, your clarity. And so he's a great producer, you know, so, you know, him, him, him know for groom, I want. But I had Delhi Ranks as one person in at the time when I was producing. And then I, I, I became really close with Wayne Wanda. Mm-hmm. So I had two generals mm-hmm. I steered the thing. Mm-hmm. So that made it really easy. And then I start like how my sound. After a little while, I started to like how my sound. <laughs> I started saying, oh wait, it can't work. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? I did this song called Bada. Mm-hmm. Remember, it took me a little while, you know. I don't want the people to feel like it's easy. We started 2010. Mm-hmm. In 2019, I think it was, or 2018, I did this. I did this song called Bada. Mm-hmm. And a very hungry day when, with, with no money in my pocket. I just wanted to do something that, to generate a little cash for some dub plate at the time. And I sing Bada. You feel no one say, Brooklyn man, Bada. Straight over Queens, car over the Sabada, about Boogie Dong Bronx. Trust me, the Sabada, Long Island. Starting the, they were me a chat something, but everywhere Bada. Yeah. Here about Nadi's King, Nadi's Bada. 
Soul Supreme, you know that sound, they bad be. Yo, me. So I just did it and call everybody near me night and blast it out on my WhatsApp and the rest is history. I start getting money for dub plates and I'm like, okay, so this is actually a thing. All right. <laughs> and wow. because I, I, I made that song better, mm-hmm. my virgin, one of my virgins used to just see me all the while and go, oh, that, the bada, the bada boss. Mr. Bada himself. So I'm like, okay, so it have a ring to it. Mm-hmm. Said it as just a joke. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to use that. Mm-hmm. So I, that's where the whole Bada general came from because I, I, I made a song called Bada. Mm-hmm. And if you go on YouTube and pull up Bada, the song, it is going, the, the artist name is going to be listed as Fraggy. Fraggy, yeah. Yeah, so after that, that's where Bada general was born and the rest is history. By 2019, I start get serious and learn how to like formulate a real song verses and rhymes and l- try to figure out how to half key and key how it work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? With the help of Wayne Wonder, by that time Wayne Wonder and me are like peas in a pod. You know, the, we just got so boom. Everything my send a game him cut him give me input. No, you're half key right here. So okay, you're supposed to say, eh, I, oh, I, whatever, and walk me through enough things and then the pandemic hit and then Bada General just bust. What can <laughs> I say? <you> know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on the on my Facebook right now, I'm 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 having a lot of um questions. Yeah. You understand me? Junior my show all the way from Norway. Far away, and Junior Maestro is part of Lagazi Sound International. Oh, Junior Maestro! Oh, yeah. yeah, but so Junior Maestro says, um, were these dubs pressed on vinyl? What were the prices like back then to get it pressed? If so, um, in two thousand one, remember I was going to Suda since the nineteen nineties, early nineties. Mm-hmm. So I. I but Mad Squad, all of my dub plates when I came out was actual plates. Mm-hmm. Actual, yeah. And these were, I think it was $3,000 Jamaican at the time, which don't sound like much now, but at that time it was a lot because you yeah, talk about you could get, you maybe could advise a Capitan for 10000 but to cut it on the dub is 3000 <laughs> So, you know, the dub plate is for 3000 you If you're a business, if you wanted to, Cut one dub, because uh, them time you had to do four dubs, at least three, because you don't want to waste your money. I'm 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 buy a dub plate and can't fill it out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we used to do the do, 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 do official cutting. A lot of our dub plates, ninety nine percent of our dubs were cut at Arrows recording uh, dub cutting studio, uh, you know, at Arrows. Big up Father Arrows, rest in peace. But that's how we do all our work. So much so that we was, even when the time with World Clash, we we locked ourselves in Arrows overnight. You know? the, the amount of dub we was cutting to go to World Clash. It took us one whole day and one whole night. You know? Wow. Yeah, we had to pay the engineer, which is pruning, pay him extra just to, so we stayed at the studio all night. We was just cutting dubs all night. So, when I when I was going to work clash, if you know the size of a dub plate, it's like you know the how thick it is. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to the to, with a whole pile, mm-hmm. five six hundred dubs, you know. <laughs> yeah, just cut one special. So in no time, we had to buy a bigger dub box because the dub box get full and you know what I mean. It was it was just a good vibe. Yeah, man. Yeah. So so so, do you still have all those masquat dubs? Do you still have all of them? Yeah, well, 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 um, Striker had the dub, have the dub box because he's the one that's doing all that clashing okay. thing, you know. I mean, he might, we basically split, but I always, I wish him good, you know what I mean? And, yep. and hope for the best for him all the time when he come on to Mad Squad because that is like we're Pitney. Definitely. You know what I mean? Where, where you create something from nothing. Definitely. So, so. so Mad Squad. It, it, yeah, it's, it's there still I go on. But the dub box still the same way, man. All right. And all of my master tapes, them are in my studio right now with all of my set of dubs from them time. Like, I, I, we don't lose. We have everything still, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So um, what I want to know from you is, 
um, have you have you ever caught a, 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 a doublet for striker? Because uh, in recent time he's been clashing up and down and all that kind of thing. Well, me and him no deal, you know. Me cut doublet, I kill him. Cause me and him are no friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? As I tell you, so that's my mentality. Once you violate, me yeah. kill you. But, I, I, but I'm not killing like Mad Squad sound, you know, you know what I mean? Definitely. That's, that's my sound, that's my brand too. Definitely. So, But yeah, but him got, him got me, him got Froggy Pondo because I voice theme as Froggy already. All right. Well, we voice at the time it was us. All right. But since any part ways, no, I'm not doing a dub theme because, you know what I mean? It's one of them things, man. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, Eduardo Hinijan, a.k.a. at the ranks of Nexus Sound System, said, Lagazi, you are not ready for the road. 200 dubs? All right. That was... No, the 200 dubs was, was a minimum for, for Mad Squad. Listen, <laughs> me, Lagazi, the amount of millions of dollars we spend on dubs. And at the time, I'm telling you, yeah, our dubs, them value more than what we pay because of my popularity and my long-standing relationship with a lot of artists, born to kill and all these people. We was getting dubs for a little bit and nothing. You know. Sometimes we, we stopped taking the dubs because we start running out of money to cut the dubs. We were getting more dubs than we can cut off. Wow. So sometimes we was like, all right, all right, all right. All right, that's enough, that's enough. All this right. one time we went to Cartel and Cartel gave us like 18, 19 dubs for free. Like, just, just advice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some sound right now, now I have 19 cartel in a them box. Me, me vice 19 one time. And me vice him more than 30 times. Wow. 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 So that just to be a number. Sometimes I would never vice less than six dubs from Vibes Cartel at any given time. Ah, and right. every week I used to vice four to six brand new cartel, brand new bounty, brand new elephant, brand new. Because so, it was like a it was like a show, man. <laughs> I, <tell laughs> I, I, I am waiting for the day I wake up in the morning and I open my email and I will get like 19 dub plates from uh, 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 Bada General for Lagazi like Sound Yeah, but that's hey. possible because I'm Bada General. Good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if, if, if you are going anywhere and anybody violating Lagazi, like they're dead. Crazy. <laughs> Lagazi like and Bada General will we we'll go far away around our place. Definitely, definitely. Remember, Lagazi like been interviewing me and playing my music before Banda General even born, you know. Remember Froggy, Froggy De Mad Squad. Definitely. Those are the Lagazi like start playing for me. Definitely. So, sound boys, careful. No one, you know. Easy. All right, so coming from FA, FA Watcher all the way from the UK, Fine Wine Sound up, and Fine Wine Promotion. She said, ask him how many rhythms has he built now as we hear from his songs he Ooh. drops. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, well, Effie Lagazi can tell you this. I voice two, three songs a day sometimes. I'm pretty sure I'm tired of me on them WhatsApp sometimes because I keep sending music left, right, and center. That's just how I, I do. do that, I make so much music and I have so much rhythms that I stopped counting a long time ago. I, I cannot put a number on it. It's too much. All right. All too right. Much. So, F.A., he said he can't, he can't put a number on it. So, 43 got into the R2. Now, on Asasi Radio, let's talk about the album Oi Day. Yes, sir. Bada, tell me about Oi Day. How come Oi Day? Well, <laughs> it, it's, it's the slang I took on. Oi Day! That's my, um, that's like my tagline, you know, what I use, you know, when you hear me, or you see me, that's, that's what you're going to see, my, sh all my shirt, them, everything, when I wear, when I go up on the road, I just, oh, you there, and, you know what I mean, I, yeah. it's like my own look, man, my tagline, like when you hear Bunty Kill, I hear, hey, yo, that, that's just, oh, you there, like, yeah, yeah, and, 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 at the time, I just say, you know what, why not promote my brand? As a body of work, so I, I I entitled my album Oi De, and majority of the songs on it have like nineteen songs on it, or, or eighteen songs, or something like that. Nineteen songs, all of them. As it started here, Oi De. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's my thing, my, my slogan, my, so I had to put it as the title of my album, 
And this is the first time I'm really putting together. Well, I did the Money Up Project, which was 10 songs, mm -hmm. which in, a, in retrospect, 20 years ago, that would have been an album, a full length album, 10 mm -hmm. tracks. But in nowadays, a 10 track album is not really an album, it's more like an EP. But it's a it is little bit more than an EP. So I call it the Money Up, the project, Money Up project. So I dropped that project. So this was the first time now I'm actually sitting down and making music for an album. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have so much. I, I made like 40, 50, 60 songs to try to pick out 12. So I ended up pick out 19. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, I have so much songs like as and 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 that's the, the the outcome of the oil. All right. Yeah. So so now um looking into the album now, anybody, you know, all my listeners across the country and via the internet and also Facebook, um, is 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 on all the guitar platforms. You just have to type yeah. the name Bada General Oide, and trust me, you will find it. Bada, um. To all those who don't have access to the album yet, I would like to know how many artists did you feature on it? You know, I, I was thinking um, like how you were close to Win Wonder and all that I I could um, see a feature of Win Wonder on it. But, uh, oh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so um, there is one uh, Win Wonder and, uh, Win, Win Wonder and Galaxy P on it. Yeah, so I could jump with Win Wonder and Galaxy P, which yeah. Galaxy P, I mean, and we in one that we are like really close, you know, when I whisper, <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely. So, and Galaxy P uh, is featured on Jump. Liquid mm -hmm. is featured on, on the album also, which me and him, we, we from way back, mm -hmm. both from the same city, we do a lot of music together. In, in, the, in the lockdown, and me and him do enough of the song, even the barrel. Shout out to Shata Wally. And the whole of Ghana, you know, gave me a strength and, and the barrel remix mm -hmm. with Style C and me and Liquid. Mm -hmm. uh, also on the album, we have Singer J on the album. You know what I mean? Big up to Singer J. We, we, have, um, we, we have a couple of features on the album. Not too much, but enough to all our files. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. But, yeah, man. I hate that. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bada General. So, Bada. Yes, now, sir. are we are we to look forward for um videos from this particular album? Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. I, I, I have videos, you know. Videos, one type of videos. You know what I mean? Videos, videos. Big up to every single body. But may I tell you, I, I'm, I'm doing... I did Mr. Take Back video already. It's, it's, it's out there, so you can go um pre for the listeners out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm also getting ready to shoot the video for the bakery. For the bakery. Mm -hmm. With Rain Seville. Rain Seville is an artist from Jamaica, you know, a really, really great artist from Jamaica. Female. Mm -hmm. you know, and she is also the um, baby mother of Bugle, the artist. Okay. And she's an artist in her own right. She did a lot of collaborations too with a whole of people. Sean Paul and Mavados and all these great people. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She and Bada General have a thing named the bakery. You now the bakery <laughs> is that one of them bun songs there, you know? Definitely. That, <laughs> she getting cheated and and and, and, and are, are cheating. <laughs> but yeah. That song now is taking, get doing really good on TikTok and these places where a lot of people making videos of you know themselves doing a rendition of the song. So yeah, mm -hmm. but definitely I will shoot that video. I'm, and, and, and my phone has been ringing after hook. People offered me to shoot the video for me for what? free. Wow, so it is definitely going to get done. Nice, nice. So um, let me read one and two messages from facebook and then i'll come back to bada general and they will wrap it up it's 49 going into the r 2 p.m on assassin radio my name is king lagazi my producer naro bawa in the studio junior maestro is online benedict jaffes and bob africa producing online as well Easy. i have joseph ama as the technician on duty 
putting everything together, making sure that we look crisp and live. Easy. Easy. Yeah, man. So, F A Watcher says, don't worry about that general and Lagazi. I will help to count. But I love Bada General. So humble. And anytime I need 45 from him, he will send it to me. Bada General. Oi there. Hey, yes, sir. Oi. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. So um, Bada says um, the bakery video, people uh, people want to shoot for him for free and all that. Yeah. And, we, and, 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 and we give thanks. We've seen the progress of Bada General from strength to strength, from being a sound man, from killing sound systems and all that. And now his doublet are doing magic. But how, how, how do you feel? Let me ask you this. How do you feel when, you know, you cut a custom doublet for a sound and they play it and the whole plays rum? Well, it's definitely a good feeling. No joke. No joke. I'm going to tell you, sir, it's, 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 been, it's always been... You see something where, uh, like, remember, see, I selected this me forward from. So, yeah, I I just seen, like, a, a man, even myself, play any, a bunch of killer or whoever, and the way you shell the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say, yo, I wonder, you know what I mean? I want to go over a lap the place like that, and then boom. So, to see it, at first it was great, still is. But it's you know, so frightening again like one time. Because you know it start become like a regular thing. All right. So uh, you just try to keep up the standard and, and do great work. You know what I mean? All right. So what do you make of people who try to compare you in terms of custom? Because it's like, but that general now, you have stepped into the doublet custom line that, you know, hmm. your, your customs custom. are, 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 are doing magic in clashes. So what do you make of people comparing you to um, Tarantula, Mass Spider? Well, I, I mean, I have no problem with it, you know. I have no problem with it. You know. Tarantula is a great friend, like a brother, you know, so it's, it's all good. It's all good. And and he is the one that, what I, what I want to say, I want to find the world. He's the one who are basically cross the, the, the whole custom thing, you know, in a, in a sense where it's not, it's not him flipping like a, a regular song, like you advice a bounty killer, a regular song, and, and, and you call somebody named in the song. Mm -hmm. He's he was doing this from scratch, so everything I'm doing is like from scratch. And being around him and, and we doing music together and producing together, you get an insight of it. So, you know, what I mean, so I mean, I'm no problem. Tarantula, I'm a general man, my brother, man, hey, good man. All right. Yeah. All right, we give thanks and praise to the Almighty 53 going into the R2. But uh, before I leave you finally on the um line, um the album Oide I know is out there already, and people should go check it out. You, uh, we've, we've, we've spoken about the video that um a lot of videos are coming out and all that. What should yeah. apart from that, what uh, exactly should people look forward in terms of this particular album from Bada General? Well, the album is just a vibe, you know what I mean? It's a vibe. It's a vibe, you know, a mixture of music. I've, for the first time, on a compilation project, I, I, I have some reggae music, you know what I mean? Because you know, a reggae alone shall live, you know, dance all good and everything, but the real music, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I have a few reggae tracks on there, but most part of the, of the humor side of but a general, you know what I mean? The Mr. Take It Back and the whole of them good thing there. What the ladies them love to hate me for, you know? But <laughs> them like me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. And yeah. also this year I'm looking forward to um collaborating with a, with, with, with a few of my, my artists linking them from crossover in the continent of Africa to um, with, 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 with build some bridges musically, you know what I mean? Okay. Do some more work, I you know unity is strength, so that's some day, you know. All right, um, Edward Ohini Jang from Nexus Sound System. Look, like people are really interested in this doublet thing. He said, Um, can he tell us how he does the live dubs, please? 
I can't give up my secret, man. Anytime <laughs> you can get the, the recipe from, from, from the colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken, then I give you my secret <laughs> to my recipe. Can't give up my recipe, I am. <laughs> <laughs> big up next to sound, because you don't know. Big up our sound system. Definitely. And I must say, sound system is definitely one of my main supporters. All selectors, all sound people. You know what I mean? They're supported by the general from the beginning. So I must say enough respect and love. Big up to the promoters. God, this 23, I'm looking to be on the road more than, than last year. But you don't know. Nothing up before the time. Bada general. Just check the platforms, the, the Instagram, the Facebook, the, 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 the Twitter, the TikTok, Snapchat, anything. Bada general. Just search Bada general. You find me, I will make things happen. But uh, I would like to say thank you so much for your time and space. Easy. King Lagos, you know, from day one, man. How you do, man? Big up the whole Ghana, big up the whole Kenya, big up the whole, the coast, the whole of the coast. You know what I mean? Yeah. What big up, big up on yourself. Bada General say, oh, there. Respect and manners every time. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me beat out some Bada General songs before I move from the house. This is Assassin Radio. Right. My name is King Lagazi. Bless it. Street born. We can't believe what them things they are saying. You're lucky. You feel like you are going to have me 